right, yo. Space is made out of water. Space is made out of water. Space has water in it. Space is constructed of water. The makeup of space is water. Everything in space is water. It's water. It's water. It's water. Came to the conclusion that with electro mag with our electromagnetic field, water is needed. Water is all around us. As I'm telling you this right now, it's police sirens around me, so I know it's the truth. Not because of them, but because of what I know what's inside of me. It's water in space. Water is constructed of space. How did I come to this conclusion? I was pondering. One day I was pondering. I talked to the Most High. If you want to say that, came to the conclusion. But overall, if you a deep person and you just sit up there and you just think to yourself and you say, damn, it's raining right now. Where the fuck is this rain coming from? And motherfuckers telling you it's clouds and so forth. Okay. When you go to the definition of what a cloud is, you say, okay. Like, none of it ever made sense. The whole world... Everything that we know is a fucking lie. And it's so, so sad. Because most of the people that's living in this world would never know. It's a small group of people that know that everything that's going on right now is a fucking lie. And those people right now, if you want to say, they target it. They target it because they know the truth. They know that everything that they know is a lie. Like everything. You born... You go to preschool, you go to elementary, you go to middle school, you go to high school. And these motherfuckers telling you what they want you to know. That's what people don't understand. They say 2 plus 2 equals 4. Who says? When you question shit, that's when it become a problem. They say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Who says? They say the Bible is so forth, so forth. I can't even, I can't even throw you no scriptures right now. All I can say is, who says? It's not that I don't believe in the Bible. It's not that I don't believe in the Bible because I got much respect for the Bible because I know the Bible in, the, in, in, in a sense is a holy scripture. But at the same time, the other side of me knows that the Bible is man-made. So anything man-made in this world is going to have its own constructs to it. That's what people need to understand. It's going to have its own agenda to it. So when they say the end of the world is going to happen as so-and-so, and the Israelites is going to happen as so-and-so, and you've been in this for 400 years and so-and-so, and all this extra stuff, Basically is what it is. How do you know that is the truth? What I come to conclude is. The only truth you ever going to get in this world. Is what you, you know within your own self. And a lot of the things that I know myself. What I know is the truth. I came within myself. And then I got confirmation through others. If that's what you want to say. But all in all. I came through it myself. I came through the 400s through myself. I came through the Israelite information myself. I came through aliens, the flat earth. But I don't even want to get off the subject. But flat earth, I do understand. The hologram, I do understand. But my own conclusion on the world is that it's a pyramid. Like, I believe that we shape like a pyramid because of the symbolisms that's always thrown to us. Everything that's thrown to us, you always got to think the opposite in a sense. Like, whatever they say is the truth, you got to think the opposite of it. Anything that they say is bad, voodoo, etc., etc., you got to think the opposite of it. So, in a sense, it's actually really good. Not all things, but some discernment. Discernment, my people, discernment. Um, if anything I learned throughout this time, is definitely discernment. Like, I didn't had a hell of a ride. A hell of a ride, just like most people. But 
all in all, like, you gotta have discernment, but nah, I, I honestly think, like, everything is constructed like the, like a pyramid, and it's on a whole nother level, I can get into a video on that, and blah, 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 but most people ain't gonna see it like that, they think it's either a circle or, or a flat earth, which I get the flat earth uh, concept in a sense, because like I say, I understand the hologram and all this little stuff, but deeper level, like, it's really probably shaped like a fucking pyramid, all this fucking science project, all just a little illusion, but anyway, I really posted this video just to come on here and, and once again just kind of show love, get some information in a sense after what I kind of been, um, you know, conjuring up, uh, what else I want to say, man, life, bro. Life will throw us so many fucking curveballs. And I know I'm cussing and, and all that a lot or whatever. But uh, redemption come my way. Redemption come my way is all I can say in a sense. Um, it's the beast in me. Uh, and by beast, I don't mean no devil or nothing like that. So get your head out, the, you know, the gutter. It's the warrior in me. Like, it's just the gutter in me, the savage in me. Like, fuck this shit. I see a police. Like, I'm like, fuck that, you know. But all in all, you know, we got good hearts. So I know all of them not like that, but this shit is crazy. It's really, uh, how can I say it? And I, I know I say that in a lot of my videos. How can I say it? Uh, I hit the, I hit the video game analogy before. Hard, you know, difficult, easy. Um... This word ain't nothing but mind games, man. At the end of the day, like, it really, really is. It's really mind games. You really got to beat your own mind. Um, I think our, our physical body is actually asleep. If you, like, on my level, like, just somewhere else, just in a whole nother physical plane, sitting there, like how you kind of sit on the matrix, like, we're not even really here in this reality, that's how I see it, um, but while you living here, of course, it, it all seems real, but this shit's so fucking fake, like, I walk around and I, 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 <laughs> I just be within the presence of, of, of this time and the space. And I'm like, none of this makes fucking sense. Like, none of it. Call it the Mandela effect. CERN blowing it up and fucking, uh, you know, demons walking around. Whatever you want to call it. Another, um, another frequency. Like, none of this that is happening in this world is really making sense. Like, none of it. From the news, all you get is propaganda. Or you get bad news all the time. You never hear about the good. You never hear about the good in the community. The people that's serving others and putting a highlight on the humanity of what is going on in the world. You never get that. Politics. Politics is shut down. You got Democrats. You got Republicans. You got people in the population that's going for either Democrat or, or, or Republican. But what they're not understanding is both of those parties are leaving that congregation when they are, are on the media with the cameras. And they are going behind closed doors and they're shaking hands and they laughing behind your back like, ah, ha, ha, we got them. Like, none of it is real. None of it. The president is fucking botched. He's a fucking clone. He's fucking robotic. He's not real. He's here for an agenda. He's here to carry out the plan. And if you think about the plan, he's written all in the Bible because A is one is 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 man made and then two it has to be carried out. But at the same time, if you sit up here and you think about the 400 years, you think about the Israelites, then we we come into the truth with it as well. So Really what I'm saying is, it's so intertwined. All of it is intertwined. So what do you do? You got to come to your own conclusion. Like at the end of the day, you really, really, 
really do. It's not what you read. It's not, in a sense, what you hear. You got to take it in. And I want to say what you feel, but at all times, you cannot trust what you just feel. You have to just know. It's a knowing within your system. It's a knowing within your vibration. It's a knowing within your frequency to where you know something is truthful or not. Like, end of story. So, what's the end game to all this bullshit that we facing? And even I come to that conclusion. Even I come to that question. Even I chase that answer. And I'm like, what the fuck? are we here for what is the purpose for us knowing this information that we know because i already know this information that i know is not to be shared with everybody but at the same time the people that i know Know this information is scattered around the world. So what is the purpose of me knowing this and I can't connect to my own people? That's really the bottom line to a lot of these questions and answers that we have within our system. So when we come to that conclusion and we ask our ancestors, what is the purpose? Why can't I connect to my people if they have the same knowledge that I have and the same knowledge that I obtain and I quester and they can help me? Why can I not connect to my people?